Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Friday, December the 5th. It's the first week in Advent. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 134, and 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 1 through 12. And please join me in singing verse 3 of Come Thou Long Expected Jesus by Charles Wesley to the tune of Stuttgart. Born thy people to deliver, born a child and yet a king, born to reign in us forever, now thy gracious kingdom bring. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we might serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Behold, bless God the Most High, all you servants of God. Psalm 134, and please recite it together with me. Behold, bless God the Most High, all you servants of God, which by night stand in the house of our God. Lift your hands in the sanctuary and bless God, the God that made heaven and earth. Bless you out of Zion. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Behold, bless God the Most High, all you servants of God. A lesson from Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 4, beginning at verse 1. Finally, sisters and brothers, we ask you and urge you in the Lord Jesus that as you learn from us how you ought to live and to please God, as in fact you are doing, you should do so more and more, for you know that instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you abstain from fornication, that each one of you know how to control your own body in holiness and honor, not with lustful passion like the Gentiles who do not know God that no one wrong or exploit a brother or sister in this matter, because the Lord is an avenger in all of these things, just as we have already told you beforehand and solemnly warned you. For God did not call us to impurity, but in holiness. Therefore, whoever rejects this rejects not human authority, but God, who also gives his Holy Spirit to you. Now concerning love of the brothers and sisters, you do not need to have anyone write to you, for you yourselves have been taught by God to love one another. And indeed, you do love all the brothers and sisters throughout Macedonia. But we urge you, beloved, to do so more and more, to aspire to live quietly, to mind your own affairs, and to work with your hands as we directed you so that you may behave properly toward outsiders and be dependent on no one. Here ends the lesson.
And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. And please respond, hear our prayer. We thank you for bringing us safely to the end of this day. And we thank you for all the blessings that you have granted us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Deliver us from hardness of heart. Forgive our sins and offenses, that your light may show forth from us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the mercy of God community, and for all who seek you, tender God, that they may find and be found. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That your will may be done in all that we undertake to the benefit of ourselves and our families and friends, the church and all people. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. You are our God, and we are your people, because you made us with your own hands. May we, together with all that are in heaven and earth, sing your praise this and every night. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. O oh, tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. And may the almighty and merciful God, the source of all be, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen.